What's going on everybody? I'm coach Jacob Cabazuto with Cab Training and in this video I'm going to show you guys four running back drills that I use with the athletes that I train to improve their skills. This is a great video for those of you who are coaching running backs this youth football season and want to add some drills when you're doing your individual drills during practice. So before we get started make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe to Cab Training so you guys don't miss any more of my videos and let's get better today. We're going to start off simple with drill number one. Drill number one is a one cut drill. All you need is three cones and you're gonna create a 45 degree angle with those three cones. All this does is help teach your athletes how to cut off the correct part of their foot and to turn their hips, shoulders, and eyes to the direction that they're going. As most of you guys know, defensive players are trained to watch the hips of an offensive player. And so what we've gotta be good at is manipulating our hips by turning our hips, shoulders, and eyes to the direction we're going. You do this a couple times each direction. It'll be a great first drill to do in your individual workouts. The rest of the drills in this video are all reaction based, which I feel are super important for running backs because running backs have to make quick, smart decisions and react to what's in front of them. So drill number two right here is the tennis ball avoid drill. You're gonna create a little alleyway with cones and you're gonna grab two or three tennis balls. And basically the job here is to have the running back keep running through the alleyway don't stop their feet and avoid the tennis balls. It's five push-ups if you get hit by a tennis ball. So make sure that they're working on their lateral quickness by dodging the tennis balls, but not stopping and waiting for the tennis ball to come and get them. Because as we all know, if you stop your feet in the hole as a running back, you're gonna get clapped. So you don't want that to happen. And so we have that, dr this drill is one of my favorite drills because it puts some pressure on the running back and it really goes to show who's gonna stop their feet when trying to dodge a tackle or reading the blocks. Drill number three is cut where I drop the cone. I don't have a very good name for it, but that's what I'm gonna call it. It's pretty self-explanatory. Basically, you have a player starting at a cone, and then you have a handful of cones in your hand. It's gonna be a little bit more active for you coaches out there. You're gonna run with your athlete and drop the cone where they're supposed to cut, and you can make it very unpredictable, and they have to wait until you drop that cone, and while running full speed, plant their foot and cut to the next spot that you drop the cone. It's a little bit more active on your end, but it's a really good way to get your athlete thinking on the fly and make sure they move at full speed while changing direction. I had to save my favorite drill for last. Drill number four is the gap read drill. This is really, really, really fun, especially if you are just one-on-one -on -one with a running back or if you have a group of running backs and you're trying to trip them up. This is just a all around great drill. So what I do is I get about 10 cones and I make two rows of five, kind of simulating an offensive line. And you can number your gaps like you would normally run, number your gaps. I know a lot of youth teams label their gaps as two, four, six on the right side and one, three, five on the left side. And you could do that same exact thing, simulating the offensive 42. line gap scheme. And what you do Good is you yell feet. out a two digit 14. number as your athlete is running towards the line. Good. So let's just nope. say you 13. yell 24, they run through the two gap and then they jump cut to the four gap while they're running through that second set of five cones. This is a great way to see how your running back can move more efficiently through the gaps. And it's a great way to kind of teach athletes how to move well and quickly and read the gaps at a very rapid pace while moving full speed. You don't wanna stop your feet here. You don't wanna make the gaps too unrealistic, like going from six to five all the way across. But if you make it quick gaps, you change over two, it really goes to show how you can improve your lateral quickness while maneuvering in and out of the gaps. Again, this is one of my favorite trails. It takes a lot of reps for your athletes to kind of get the hang of it, but it's gonna work the mental aspect of the game because you gotta recognize what numbers the coach is saying, and it also the physical aspect as well by putting your foot in the right place and accelerating through the gaps. If you guys liked this video and you liked the drills that I showed you today, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and follow me on all social media. I post daily content on Instagram and TikTok as well as shorts here on YouTube. And then if you like this video, hit that like button because I really appreciate you guys sticking around to the very end. And let's get better today.